Shame, Shame that, that tune! tune. So Michael, are you, that was the day you went punk then. But so, you were trying to be the wild, spontaneous guy, and that was like, that's what happened. You had safety pins on your butt crack. That's pretty. Well, thanks nice for having me, Brian. Honest. Yeah, I just want to get started. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Michael, thanks for having us. Oh, thanks wow. for coming I'm on the show. Glad to be here. Yeah. Um, Sorry about the intern issue. Uh, yeah. No, I. Uh, that's the day. I, it wasn't even a matter of being uh, uh, punk. I, I was just. I, lo I was lost in the moment. And this was fifth grade. Yeah, I it's make or break, man. How do you recover from the kind of humiliation you endured uh, to hit rock bottom when you can go no lower? After dreams of taking on the role of loose cannon, the wild and spontaneous lad of the class, uh, how do you recover? Michael, can you ever really recover from something? Like that? Well, I tried. Uh, a few months later, my mom brought me a, a Buga Boy outfit. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I thought this thing was gonna was gonna make it up. And it was a blue Buga Boy vest and blue jeans. Like, I mean, not even blue, but like blue khakis. And I and I stood in front of the classroom, greeting everyone as they walked in. And I swear, I thought this Buga Boy outfit would do it, and it just it just sunk farther in. <laughs> money growing up, you can boy. That was the talk of the line up. I wore tons of metal. You had forgotten to wear underwear. How, how, how does, was that a common thing? Or was not that the one thing? No, 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 it was not a common thing. I have not repeat, I've never not or never forgotten to wear underpants again, but I mean in the in the moment you get caught up, you know. I mean <laughs> we've all been there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, come on. Yes, we've all been there, Michael. Yes, we've all been there. I, I gotta ask, what goes through your mind now when you see Hawaiian shorts, safety pins, and soccer? <laughs> well, the fact that I would ever see that again it would be pretty outlandish, but I mean, if I saw it again, I, especially, I mean, I have a, a, a newborn baby, if, I, if he ever makes that mistake, I, I'm just gonna sympathize, you know, and, and say, you know, Dad's been there, and, uh, and hopefully you can uh, regale the audience with Unshame That Tomb uh, 20 years from now. <laughs> you just might, yes. Uh, so out of the humiliation, <laughs> please learn. Yeah, thank you. And since then, you uh, went to school and you learned how to make music videos for the likes of Andrew W. Bird, uh, Electric Six, and uh, Abraham's own uh, Baby Teeth. Yeah. Um, now, is this the defining moment, the, if you will, uh, safety pinning your shorts to your ass gate uh, when you thought, someday, Michael, I am going to make videos? No, I mean, this is by far not the most embarrassing story of my life. This is just one of the better ones. I, I wrote out a list of about ten, and I had my wife pick one out. But this is, uh, this was not, this is not the defining moment. There's far greater. <laughs> Okay, well, we're out of time, Thank unfortunately. You. <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, sharing that, too. Michael, great to meet you.